food delivery drama. Instead of packing lunches, high school students are now ordering in. Yeah, West Bloomfield High School says up to 15 deliveries were being made a day. And now the principal is firing back, reminding students of its policy. 7 Action News reporter Simon Trowdery tells us why the issue is going beyond food. Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, these food delivery services are making it easy to order food almost anywhere including a parked news van. But it was happening so often at the West Bloomfield High School that the principal says no more. I feel like sometimes the options at school aren't like a wide enough range and I feel like that's why people like to order like through Grubhub and stuff. Call it a convenience for cravings. Well, I think it can be a disruption like of the classes like because they're losing learning time. It became a huge issue. There are a couple of reasons why West Bloomfield High School principal Pat Watson tweeted a reminder to students not to have food delivered during school hours. Deliveries are coming all the time. It's out of hand. Kids are constantly coming down during lunch, sometimes during class time and getting food. Students would use apps like Grubhub or Uber Eats during their lunch hour, but Pat says many times the delivery would run late with kids leaving class to get the food. I think I counted 15 deliveries in one day, an hour and a half period. And that's just not, it's not okay. One day, a student ordered $90 worth of food during a lesson. She came back with bags of food. She had taken orders from almost all the kids in the class. School officials say having food delivered becomes a security issue. Pat believes there are plenty of options in the cafeteria and students won't go hungry. If a kid says, I don't have a lunch today, we'll make sure they get that lunch. They just want the food. I get it. I'd like to have Panera delivered every day to me or Starbucks. It'd be great, but that's not the reality in the world we live in within a high school. In West Bloomfield, Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.